Good evening. My apologies. We're starting just a little late tonight, but we are gathering for Vespers on this August 19th. So thank you for joining us. Please pray together with us. God, cleanse me, sinner, have mercy upon me. God, cleanse me, sinner, have mercy upon me. God, cleanse me, sinner, have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fill us all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities, for your name's sake, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, uh, Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our the earth and its foundation, so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deep, as with the garment, the waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled, at the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valley sank down to the place which you appointed for them. You set a bound which they should not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth, and the valleys they flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing among the branches from your lofty abode, you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon, which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, their rocks are a refuge for the badgers. Name man. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works and wisdom. You have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea great and wide, which teems us with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan, which you formed to sport in it. These all look to give you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in its works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, of New England, for the honorable priest of the diocese in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. 
mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. You hear me, hear me, O Lord, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil, to busy myself with wicked deeds. In company with men who work iniquity, and let me not partake of their delights. Let a good man strike and rebuke me. In kindness, but let the oil of the wicked never anoint my head. For they have... When they, I get, my prayers are continually against their wicked deeds, but when they are given over to those who shall condemn them, then they shall learn that the word of the Lord is true. As a rock which one cleaves and shatters on the land, so shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of hell. But my eyes are toward you, O Lord God, in you I seek refuge. Leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap which they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked together fall into their own nets while I escape. I cry with my voice to the Lord. With my voice I make supplication to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him. I tell my trouble before him. When my spirit departs from me, you know my way. In the path where I walk, they've hidden the trap for me. I look to the right and watch, but there is none who takes notice of me. No refuge remains to me. No man cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord. I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, that I give, may give thanks to your name. The righteous await me until you will deal bountifully with me. Out of the depths I cried, you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand but there is forgiveness with you? Christ was made flesh from you, O of your virgin. He assumed the human likeness for our sake, when he desired to take you from this world and receive you to himself. The disciples assembled to bury your pure body. They gathered around you filled with joy when the time for your passing had come. They worshipped, crying out with faith, Rejoice, O Mother of the tent of your body is God's throne of fire. The tabernacle of his glory now is carried to burial by our hands, your body from which the world has received great mercy. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch with Israel, hope of the Lord, standing beside your bed, seeing you asleep in accordance with nature's law, the disciples of the Redeemer prepare to carry your body to the grave. They sang burial hymns to you, O pure and holy lady. Rejoice, O honored abode of God. Rejoice, O helper of mankind. Rejoice, O pure chariot of divinity. You are taken to the everlasting hills most wondrously. The ark of glory passes over to God. With him she takes up her rest forever, asking for the faithful unending peace and great mercy. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. She who gave birth to you, O Samuel, received you as worthy fruit of prayer, as she had promised. With her maternal hand she gave you, as a rightly acceptable gift to God, her benefactor. 
Therefore the grace of the Spirit rested upon you, O glorious one, guarding you to grow in innocence and adorning you with wisdom. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise Him, all peoples. You were vested as a priest with sacred chrism and revealed to be a prophet who foresaw things to come. At the command of God, you foretold the future and anointed a king. You judge with justice the people of Israel, who ever sinned and withdrew themselves from their God. O truly wondrous Samuel, the blessed bearer of God, for his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Putting aside the gloom and weight of the flesh, you now behold him who you desired, not in a mirror darkly or in shadows as before, but face to face. You rejoice as you go about the heavens, O most honored prophet, peer of all the prophets of God, converser with the righteous and sharer in the portion of the angels. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. You believe in Jesus, your Son, and God, O Theotokos. He was put to death as a man, but as God he arose. Conforming to nature's law, you also died, O Mother of God. But you were taken into the bridal chamber of heaven. The heavens are sanctified by your ascent, just as the earth was illumined by your childbearing. Both angels and apostles assembled to bury your pure body. They say, call on your name. Through you may we receive salvation and great mercy. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, Heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you, with voices of praise, O Son of God, and Giver of life. Therefore all the world glorifies you. Wisdom, let us attend. The evening proclaim and on us in the sixth tone. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes to the hills, from where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip, he who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord, my help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord will keep you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us, O Lord, grant it, O Lord, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord, Grant it, O Lord, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord, 
Merciful Lord, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God, to you, O Lord. For you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send a glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all, and to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord, to you, O Lord. O Lord our God, who bowed the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge, who yet loves mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from them, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers, to the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the second tone, the band of disciples, the band of disciples, God's chosen witnesses, praising your honorable body, offer hymns crying, to where do you ascend, O Queen? Arise, O Lord, and go to your resting place, you in the ark of your might. Come, O earth for mortals, dance today in spirit, singing hymns of Exodus to honor the dormition of the Theotokos. The Lord swore to, in truth to David from which he will not turn back. O gates of heaven, open to welcome the gate of the Most High as she proceeds with glory to her Son and Lord. In the same tone, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The earth, O Virgin, is blessed by your burial, according to the law of nature. But the heavens are made holy by your wonderful ascent. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sin, Master, pardon our transgressions, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The memory of your prophet Samuel we celebrate today, O Lord. By his prayers we beseech you, O Christ God, save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In a time of fiery temptations for the Church of Russia, you manifested Christ's love to your flock through meekness and humility. As a good pastor, you lay down your life for him. Pray for us, Hiero Martyr Alexander, that our souls may be illumined. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In giving birth, you preserve your virginity. In falling asleep, you did not forsake the world of Theotokos. You were translated to life, O Mother of Life. And by your prayers, you deliver our souls from death. 
Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed metropolitan Tecon, welcome penance of the Diocese of New England, for our priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox, be part of this life before us, especially the Proto Presbyter, the Mitred Archpriest Michael, the Proto Presbyter Leonid, Diane, Vera, Charles, Eugene, and the servants of uh, Maureen, and the servants of God on the anniversaries of their repose, Robert, Jenya, Zoya, and Nadezhda. And you hear that in all the world lie asleep at the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those suffering for their Orthodox faith, those lying on a bed of sickness to need of healing, especially for the minor archpriest Sergei, the priest John, Deacon Timothy, Subdeacon Nectari, Matushki, Cynthia Elizabeth, Delphi, Mara, Virginia, Deborah, Alex, Alexandra, and Nadia. For the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Elaine, Maria, Lucy, David, Carol, Anna, Robert, John, Maria, Alexander, Stephen, Stacy, Anna, Catherine, Natalie, Ekaterine, Elena, Alexander, Lynn, and Lucia, Sandra, Shirley, Victor, Nona, Judy, Michael, and the infant, Sienna. For the Archpriest Constantine, Andrew, and Lonnie, who are suffering from the coronavirus, and for the pardon and remission of their sins, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God in his mercy and providential care for us will call forth for our Diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an arch pastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith in loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God and love mankind, and to you we send a glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, Father, bless. Christ our God, the existing, is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement, you gave birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, whose dormition feast we continue to celebrate, through the power of the precious and life creating cross of our holy, glorious, and a lot of apostles of the holy prophet Samuel, and the new high martyr, proto presbyter Alexander Potovitsky, missionary in America, whose repose we commemorate today, of the whole labored here in America and then went back to Russia and gave his life in the midst of the uh, communist revolution. We have all the writings of the North American messenger uh, through his good work. And so we remember him today. We also prayed for today uh, anniversaries of repose, which we'll pray for God willing on Saturday at memorial service before Vespers. Uh, Robert Pavlik coming up on a year of his repose the mitered Archpriest Michael Koblash, who fell asleep in the Lord uh, just uh, yesterday, and also the uh, anniversaries of repose of the servants of God, Genya, Zoya, and Nadezhda. Uh, 
uh, killed in a car accident now um, about 30 years ago. And so God bless and keep and be with all of you. And uh, our next services will be on Saturday because tomorrow we have a uh, meeting with the interns uh, from seminary. Our parish will be receiving a seminary intern again uh, this coming fall. And so we have a uh, orientation meeting tomorrow afternoon. God bless and be with you.